You're absolutely right. There are different degrees of catastrophe facing the Conservative Party, and they've got to try and find what is the least worst. What I think is quite interesting and may happen is, like, the old boiled frog situation. Are Conservative backbenchers going to get into that situation where they're suddenly they're in the pan, they're getting used to the fact that they're there, actually this is starting to become normal, PMQs come and go, there isn't too much of another catastrophe, and that they end up just sitting there and all the while the temperature is rising and the temperature is rising. That is one scenario. I mean, I cast my mind back to the 97 election with the Blair landslide that we kept on waiting for John Major to call the election and he never did. And it was the endless hope that something good was going to come along that would change the arithmetic and change the whole politics of it. And so he sat in Downing Street until the very last moment that he could. Which in this case would be January, January 2025. Yeah. And <laughs> it's a long and you, way away. It's a long way away. And you just stay holding on, hoping that something turns up that will help you. Of course, I, for John Major, it didn't. Absolutely right. You, you stay there waiting and hoping that something turns up. I think that the other side of that, though, is that there is no way that the Conservative Party is going to allow Liz Truss to fight the next general election. They know that that would be catastrophic to do. So some point between now and then, they are going to have to change leaders. And when you think of it in those terms, increasingly, why not just get on with it? I think Matthew Paris used the idea that you just treat Liz Truss as a bad dream, that you actually say, look, OK, we had a few weeks of that. That was a complete disaster. Let's move on. We've got somebody sensible in charge. Well, you just blame it entirely on her. Right? You, you blame her. You siphon all the blame towards her and just say, God, what was all that about? And uh, I think your point about the pressure and, like, is democracy under threat and all this kind of stuff, you wouldn't believe the amount of pressure they're willing to soak up if their seat is at stake. So they'll be bring it on. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 